Hello! Sorry about the time change. Um, I hope you guys all got the message. I'll wait just a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what time it is, but I think we have a couple of minutes. Um, before we get started, we're excited to draw a fun little giraffe, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We have four people. Hi. Oh, let me turn these comments on. All right. If you can say hi, thumbs up, make sure you can hear me okay and see me okay. That would be awesome. Hi, Lacey and kiddos. You say hi. 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 We are shiny. Sorry. Yay. Thanks for joining us, Jen. I keep forgetting to look at the camera. I keep looking at the comments. Hi, Caitlin. Um, just a marker or um, a pencil is fine too. Um, crayons, whatever you need. Taylor and I are going to be using a permanent marker, um, mainly just so you guys can really see what we're doing. But we also, when we, um, we're going to do watercolor painting too. So um, <clears throat> we like drawing with Sharpie and painting with watercolors. But anything um, you have is fine to draw with. Hi, Annie. And Haley. Hi, Haley. Hi, Brie. You say hi. She says hi. hi to Taylor, too. All right. Well, let's get going. So when I was watching our video back, um, this is only my third ever live video, <laughs> I noticed that my camera you guys were kind of having to watch upside down. So I have figured out that if I turn my camera upside down, so Taylor and I will be upside down, you guys can see what we're drawing better. So we're going to go ahead and just be upside down so you guys can see better, um, which means I might not be able to see comments a ton, um, but I promise I will be looking. Um, yeah, the llama in the back. So this was, I do um, acrylic canvas painting with kids and anybody. I mean, adults paint with me too. Um, and that was my next painting and it got canceled, <laughs> but I can't complain. We're super blessed to be able to, um, actually do some drawing with you guys, which has, um, been super fun. So we're going to get started. I'm going to flip you around and bear with me in case I mess up on which button to push. I think that's it. All right, so we will be upside down, but you should hopefully be able to see us um, better. Let me get a little bit higher. All right, is that okay? Thumbs up, better than last time. You can kind of, I don't know if things are backwards. Maybe things are backwards. I can't really tell, but anyways, we're going to try our best and we're going to go with what we have. <laughs> Looks good. All right, thank you. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So there's a couple options for drafts, depending upon how old you are or what style you like. I'm going to go ahead and show you a few just right here on my um, little side paper before you get going on your main paper, and then you can kind of decide which one you want to do. They're both very simple. So there's a more of a cartoony um, giraffe, and you do a half circle for the top of the head, and then you bring a big, huge oval for the mouth. You add on their little antenna things or horns, I guess they're more horns, and then ears, etc. And then their neck, you can either have it coming off the side or you can have it coming down the bottom. So that's one style of a giraffe. The other style is where you have the nostrils and then more of a muzzle and then from there you add on you see if I can get this you kind of go at an oval and you add on the head and of course the ears and the antenna and then the eyes so more like this you can put a little smile and then the neck. And then we got a one-eyed guy. And then there's one 
that Taylor did where it's just the oval face um, and the nose. So I am going to show you more of this style, but if you want to add that muzzle in to have more of that 3D style for your giraffe, then you absolutely do it. All right, so all of these options are cute. The eyes for this style would come up like this. And I'll leave this here so you guys can see more of what this one would look like. And of course you add in the ears. And then the eye would be over here. It's hard to like leave this one eye side cops. And then the line. Okay. We are going to draw one more like this. So let's get moving um, to that. So you're gonna find kind of the, um, here's the middle of your paper. You're gonna go down just a little tiny bit and you're gonna add two little nostrils. And it's kind of a heart, a detached heart. So we're gonna do a detached heart. Okay, and then you're gonna put your little nostrils in there. I just colored them in black. And now you're gonna add in your head. So, <clears throat> you can start at the top. Make sure you leave room for your horns. You're gonna go ahead and do that style, that's cool. So make sure you leave room for your little horns. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna kinda go down and then back up. And as you can see, it is not perfect and that is fine. Awesome. And we're gonna add in our horns next. So you can do a couple different ones. Um, you can do just these simple ones where it's just two lines and a circle, or you can do kind of the nubs. So if this was the top of the head, you go around and then come back and come around and then around and come back and come around and I think that's really more of what a giraffe's um, little things look like but I happen to think this way is really cute so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stick my little nubs on there and my little circles on top then I'm gonna add my ears you can just add sh straight ears, kind of like a leaf on the side or half football, or you can kind of come down, come down and around, and then come back down like that. And you do the same thing on this side, come down and around, and then back down. And then put your little ear crease in. Sorry, I'm off the page. Put your little ear crease in on the side. Now we need some eyes. So giraffe's eyes are on the side. So I'm going to do an arc and then over. And you can actually come out and pop them outside that, so bring them outside this line Draw a small little circle on the inside. Yeah, and then bring this down like a V shape. Yeah, good job. And then draw that small circle on the inside and then you can fill in your eye. So we have one eye and then we're gonna put another eye in. So we're gonna go across. Do the same thing. You can kind of pop it out a little bit. Come out, bring it like a triangle. Draw a circle for that shiny spot and then you can fill that in. If you want eyelashes, draw those eyelashes in. I'm gonna give mine two eyelashes. I'm gonna fill that in. 
Now I'm going to draw my line for the, um, what is that, a forelock? Forelock? I don't know. You're going to kind of come to the side of the head and then come down to the nose. Little arcs on both sides. I'm going to give my guy a little side smile. If you did with the little nostril, you can put it inside or you can put it down on the bottom, whatever you want to do. <laughs> my giraffe is hilarious. All right, so then you're going to add those, that neck, that giraffe neck. And I get a little bit wider if you want to, or you can have it really skinny. It's up to you. And now this is where you get to have fun. You get to decide what you want in the background. And also what kind of shapes your giraffe spots you want. I'm going to just draw some square like shapes. I'm going to leave some spots in the middle of it. On Taylor's little sample that she did, she drew circles and stars. <laughs> and hearts yeah hearts painted brown so you could do some spots of hearts and paint them brown that is always fun we love hearts some stars and some hearts and then if you want to add some to the face add some on the face let's see I don't even really know where the spots are on the face I guess maybe just everywhere put some there or you don't have to have any on the face either All right, I'm gonna have him in the clouds. He's so tall, he's in the clouds. So I'm going to just do some little puffy clouds and I'm not gonna go over his ear because his ear is in front of these clouds. And then if you wanna draw some bugs in the sky, some butterflies, some bees, something like that, you can do that. Um, maybe we'll draw a tree, some branches here where he's above the trees. So we're going to draw some leaves. He's all the way above this tree that's got these branches on him, or these leaves and branches. Maybe one goes off there. You can put some flowers. On the tree if you want. Uh, let's have another one coming out over here. You want to put sunglasses or glasses on your um, giraffe. You put glasses on your giraffe. And let's draw some little butterflies. So yesterday we did a butterfly with the head. This time should we do a dragonfly? We'll do both. So for a butterfly, draw a circle for the head and then an oval body and big huge wings. This butterfly is going off my page. Butterflies are symmetrical, so try and keep them symmetrical if you want. There's a big old butterfly. I have a hard time drawing small. <laughs> I 
And then I love the little hearts in the wings, so I'm gonna put hearts in my wings. And then maybe I'm gonna have a striped, striped body. And the little fly dashes, you flew from there. And then maybe over here I'll have a bee. Should I do a bee? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What are you going to draw on yours? Put yours over here so everyone can see your cute little drawing. Let's, I'll draw a bee. So we'll draw one flying away. So here's the head. Here's a big fat bee body. And then the wings. The wings kind of stay up here by the head. So there's one wing. There's another wing. And then, of course, our B. I'm really excited to see what you all are putting on your giraffe drawing. And I can't wait to see which style you guys decided to draw. Put a little stinger there on his bottom. Uh, and then, of course, his antennas coming around to the side. Coming around to the side, and I'm gonna fill his head in. So he's flying away from me. He doesn't have a face. Maybe I'll put some lines in his wings. And there. I'll pull this off the. Maybe I'll add some flowers. To this tree. All right, if you want to put a rainbow in the background too, you can do a rainbow. All that creative stuff that I know you all are going to add and put your spin on um, what you are drawing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint ours. We're using watercolors again, but of course you can use crayons, markers, whatever you want. Don't throw away those um, markers that you think are all dried up. Stick them in some water and you can make yourself um, your own watercolors. Just um, submerge the tip in a little bit of water and overnight you'll have that color watercolor. So yeah, don't throw those markers away. You can make some paint with them. I am going to use some brown. I am going to start out painting this guy brown. Where's my brush? I don't know. You can grab another one right there. How's everybody doing? Are you having fun? I can't wait to see everyone's giraffes. Kids, kids draw them way better than I do. <laughs> and they look really light blue. Like a really light brown. And we aren't using watercolor paper today. We're just using a regular piece of cardstock, so don't use a ton of water on it, okay? Okay. Whoa. No. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Post your finished product um, when they're done. I'd love to see them. And we'll be back tomorrow. Um, I believe drawing we're gonna we're gonna be drawing a unicorn. So it'll it's a very simple um, unicorn um, drawing. So yes, join us tomorrow. Thank you for all the hearts and the thumbs up. I uh, can't wait to see everyone's finished products, and thank you so much for joining us. All right, I'm going to flip this around. Yay, the unicorn's cute. It's really fun. Flip you guys back around so you can see us. And we're just going to finish up... Um, 
how come I can't get that out? We're just going to go ahead and finish up painting ours. And um, I don't know if you guys do want to watch us paint it and finish coloring ours. <laughs> I never know what you guys want us, if how long you want us to stay out or if you just want to do your thing. Um, but we'll paint it for a little bit longer. Remember, this isn't watercolor paint, so put a little bit of water on there and you have to just leave it. If you want to use crayons, you can color in crayons. Okay. Yeah, right here. Here's your crayons. I want to do the background in crayons. Okay. Wanna... That's fine. Do the You're welcome. You're welcome. Yay! Not used to using watercolors and not watercolors. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. I hear yeah. you. Not used to it. Oh, awesome, Amy. Thank you. Lacey, you crack me up. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Stephanie. We'll stay on. You guys can watch us paint ours. I was looking into um, how to have two cameras, you know, like the people who do this all the time. <laughs> they have two cameras and then they switch back and forth. So you have one from the top and then one from the side or whatever. And apparently you have to buy a program. It's like 30 bucks a month. Um, not that you guys aren't worth 30 bucks a month, but right now I'm kind of watching what we spend our money on. And I decided that us being upside down went out. So... <laughs> Sorry if my videos are a little bit um, novice. It's because we are very novice. <laughs> what time is the unicorn tomorrow? We're going to do 11. Um, we weren't actually going to do anything today, and then we decided, oh my gosh, we need to. We miss it. And um, so we decided to go ahead and do it. So we're going to try and keep our time at 11 a.m. Um, so, yes, tomorrow at 11, and I'll post um, the picture of what we're going to do. It's really simple, um, but cute. And it can be a horse. Like just don't put the horn on. So the boys can absolutely do a horse. Um, and yeah, doesn't have to be just for girls and boys. Absolutely. You can paint a unicorn. You know, there's so many, um, people that are lonely and feeling, um, really uncertain about the times right now. And artwork is an amazing way to cheer someone up. So if you feel inclined to draw a unicorn and send that to someone or drop it off at a shelter or drop it off at an assisted living place, I know that anybody that receives your artwork would really, um, bring a lot of joy to their lives. So, um, yeah. So just because we're maybe drawing something that you might not love, you should draw it anyways. Join us and um, share it with someone else that might love it. I also have kids are happy. Yay! Yes, I agree. Um, thank you, Caitlin. I'm so glad you guys are joining us and anything that we can do to help. We love art. We probably could do this all day long, every day, but there are other things that we do too. So we're going to do it once a day. I love all the hearts and thumbs up. Yay. Thank you. I'm going to get to painting mine. Next time we'll have to do watercolor paper. Yes. <laughs> You're just not used to this. No. I'm not used to it. Okay, so then what you need to do is change your medium that you're using. Use crayons instead. Or, no, like, just... I'm just adding in the color really loose. So watch. Watch. I'm just putting it down. Look. Putting it down and I'm leaving it. Because I know that if I keep putting more water on my paper, it's going to make it all yucky. What you just did, you just put more... I did it in a different area. See? You're putting more water I know, but just don't use as much as you're using, and then it won't be as I frustrating. Said I, on what I, I said I will. I said I will once I finish the giraffe. All right. We're still live. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We 
have cardstock and Taylor's having a hard time with her watercolors because cardstock, as you know, um, does not soak up the paint. And so it will break, start breaking down your fibers of your paper. And so she's getting a little bit frustrated because she's not used to painting on cardstock with watercolors um, like she's having to now. So there's kind of a trick. You just put the color down and you leave it alone. Just put it down and leave it alone. Don't worry too much about it. And it works out good. Maybe I'll do some yellow in here. <clears throat> Just got the ears. Is it working better for you now? Yes. All right. Now, now we're happy. <laughs> Just put it down and leave it alone. And it actually goes quite a quite a ways. I did this whole thing with just one sweep of a Where's the brown? There it is. I actually kind of want to do the background with water and with crayons. Yeah, mixed media. You can do them all. All the colors. All the mediums. All the mediums. I like I'm going to add in a rainbow blue. at the top. Yeah. You can do that first, and then that way yeah. you don't forget to. Paint over it. Like it. Draw it like up here. I'm gonna do it where I want it. To Alrighty. Be. Oof. It's not. Actually, I want it to be above the rainbow. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Your <laughs> giraffe is so high, so tall. He's above the He's rainbow. He's above the rainbow. I love it. Remember, there are no mistakes. You can always try again, but it's always really important just to complete what you have. He's above the right, rainbow. Right, above the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Giraffes are so tall. He's yes. taller than the rainbow. Mm -hmm. Is really bright blue, isn't it? Yeah. It's like all the blues are really super uh, opaque. What is that? It means that you can't see through it. Let me scoop some of that out of here. So I normally. <coughs> You all right? Um, <clears throat> do canvas painting with people. And um, since everywhere is closed and we can't um, do canvas painting, uh, we started doing this. But then I thought, I wonder how many of you guys might have access to canvases and paintbrushes? Like, would you be interested in me doing a lesson um, for canvas painting? I'm not sure what that was. Oh, my paint. Um, maybe that. Oh, there's a koala. We'll draw that one too. But the. Um, llama or something um i'm curious maybe how many would be interested in that so let me know drop a little message and see um if you are and maybe i'll do a group um i'll set up a group uh for acrylic painting um lesson and again this is for anyone um it's just fun you don't just have to be free and over. <laughs> you can even be Gabriel Hayden. Yeah, anybody who can pick up a pencil and draw can make art. Gabriel can. We made that little cat's book. Yeah. Uh, 
we're gonna so some of the other drawings that we want to do is um, some cactuses I just love some of the pencil um, or ink drawings that are of cactuses and the pots and all the different um, like geometric shapes for the flower or the cactus pots I don't know um, yes I would love that cactus. awesome yes we'd love canvas painting Woo! hi Brooke thanks for joining us Excited. Ella added a unicorn horn to a draft. Perfect. <laughs> you can add unicorn horns to anything. So what would that be? A giraffe corn? <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to see it. Please post. <laughs> That's just cute. We would love to. Good awesome, idea. Valerie. Okay. So I'll kind of brainstorm more about that and um, maybe make a group um, for a canvas painting um, lesson. the unicorn horn. One of the other drawings that I saw, and I haven't drawn it, I guess to the Lawman Cactus, awesome, is a sloth <laughs> hanging from a tree. I would love to see a sloth that she drew for me, so we might be doing some sloths too. And if there's any drawings that you guys um, would like, post it, and I will um, see what we can do. <sighs> My arm is hurting. Tired arm. Uh-huh. Can you read any more comments? Brooke's on here, so that means is um, Claire joining us today, Brooke? I'd love if you do a penguin. Awesome. I love penguins. We'll definitely um, do a penguin at some point. Thank you for the suggestion. I will add it. Penguins are so fun, especially kids. Penguins, my favorite. Another one is an owl. Um, there's so many variations of owls that I would love to see, um, some really cute owls that the kids, uh, draw also. Well, um, Claire is on here? I think so. Thank you, Annie. Thank you for joining us. Um. Yeah. Gabriel just texted me. Yeah. Well, Gabriel, come on, not Gabriel. <laughs> Probably, you know what? I forgot my book. Yes, she's here. Say hi to Claire. Hi, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> we love dogs. Maybe you could come up with a dog painting. Yeah, dogs are cute. Can we do a cute puppy? Yes, we will. We have a really cute puppy in a frame that we've drawn before, um, which is fun and cute. So, yes, we will do a dog and owl, please. Okay. Cool. We will absolutely do that. So we'll be on here tomorrow at 11 a.m. And I'll post the um, picture of the unicorn. And then again, see how the weekend goes. Um, but probably we'll just probably plan on doing this Monday through Friday um, at 11 unless I have to change it to some other time. But um, I know you all are super graceful and I appreciate all the comments and um, support. It's been a ton of fun and I'm glad that you guys are joining us and enjoying it too. So that makes our hearts so happy. So thank you for reaching out and letting me know that, um, 
you guys are having fun. Connor wants a rhino. Oh, that'd be fun. I can't wait to see the horns everyone draws. Can you do a lion? I actually saw an adorable drawing of a lion. Um, so yes, good. It sounds like we're all, I'm falling out of my chair. We're all on the same page um, with some animals. So thank you. Let's see. Oh, it's almost the same color. Well, you got orange. I got orange in there, but that's okay. I'll just get some more purple. Lion, yes, I will do lion. Cool. I saw a really cute cow, too. <laughs> So we might be doing a cow. <laughs> my, da my daughter did a lion picture. Oh, awesome. Daughter said a mermaid. Mermaids are fun. Mermaids are tricky, but they are fun. I did, Taylor and I did a mermaid painting last month, and it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Mermaids. We love mermaids. Sort of. Yeah. There's a drip. <laughs> right there. So I kind of got it. Yeah. The color of Just let it dry. Didn't really work that well, though. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. Thanks for joining us. Ooh, a sea turtle. Yes. Oh my gosh. We've got nothing but time. I promise you all we will do absolutely every single one that you've um, requested. Thank you, Melissa. We're excited. We are enjoying this and having a great time. Um, so I don't think we'll be going anywhere, huh? We're going to keep doing this every day? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sea turtles. I tend to like to draw things large, um, so we might be doing like a big, huge close-up sea turtle. Did a sea turtle painting, and that was fun. We're gonna go. Zoe wants to know how painting. old Taylor is. How old are you, Taylor? Tell Zoe how old you are. Six. Yep, she's six years old. Awesome, Michelle. Thank you for joining us. What about a cat? Yeah, a cat. I do cats do a all cat. the time at school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A llama. I wanted to do a llama, too, with all the really pretty blankets and the tassels and stuff. So a llama or alpaca, depending upon which type you draw or whatever. It can be either fluffy or not as fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, awesome. Zoe seven. Thank you for joining us, Zoe. You guys are about the same age. I'm almost seven. She'll be seven in September. What about a monkey? Yes. Oh man. Maybe I'll have to come on in the morning. <laughs> and then again at like three. <laughs> and we'll do all of these drawings because they're all adorable. And I want to do them all. So maybe we'll double up a day. Although in September too, oh awesome. Uh, Taylor's is the 29th. Hainsley is eight. Yay! Thanks for joining us, Hainsley. What 
or is it Hazley? Sorry if I was pronouncing pronouncing that right. For some reason, my um, my eyes made the H have an N in her name. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I had to refocus there for a minute. I'm like, wait, there's no, there's no end. <laughs> and if I've botched anybody's name, I'm so sorry. I'm awful. Um, I, I'm awful. So please, if you want to put the, um, enunciation <laughs> next to it, <laughs> I'm all for it. All right, I'm just about done. You're just about done. And I bet our watchers, our friends viewing us, are just about done. So I think we're going to sign off here in a minute. wraps it up for today. Thank you all so much. Again, we really appreciate all the support and we are so happy you're enjoying our little drawings together with Taylor and I. Um, have a fabulous day and we'll see you here tomorrow at 11 a.m. Um, drawing a unicorn. All right, you say bye. Bye. Bye.